iPhone 3G rear case replacement connector end of the iPhone. Remove the metal handle from the suction cup. It's easier and safer to grip the suction cup space instead of the metal handle. There is a rubber gasket between the silver front bezel and black display assembly. A bit of force is required in this step to separate the iPhone's display assembly. It may help to rock the suction cup back and forth to remove the display assembly. Use a small suction cup near the home button to gently pull up the bottom portion of the iPhone's display assembly. If the display assembly is too damaged to allow the suction cup to adhere, tape with a strong adhesive such as duct tape or packing tape may be used. The display assembly is still connected to the iPhone by several cables. So don't try to remove it entirely just yet. Rotate the display assembly up until it is at an angle of approximately 45 degrees. Continue to hold the display assembly with one hand. And use your other hand and a spudger to disconnect the black ribbon cable labeled 1. Cable 1 is for the display. All connectors except the ribbon connector mentioned in step 7 release upwards. Rotate the display assembly up until it is roughly vertical. This will allow easier access for disconnecting the remaining cables. Use a spudger to disconnect the black ribbon cable labeled 2. Use a spudger to flip up the white plastic tab holding the ribbon. Cable 3. Place. The white tab will rotate up 90 degrees, releasing the ribbon cable. Slide the black ribbon cable out of its connector and remove the display assembly from the iPhone. Insert your SIM eject tool or a paper clip into the hole next to the headphone jack. Press down on the tool until the SIM card tray pops out. Grasp the SIM card tray and slide it out of the iPhone. Use a spudger to disconnect the ribbon cable labeled 4. Use a spudger to disconnect the ribbon cable labeled 5. Use a spudger to disconnect the ribbon cable labeled 6. If you have an iPhone 3GS, refer to second picture and use a spudger to disconnect the ribbon cable labeled 7. Be certain that the connectors on the ribbon cables are perfectly aligned with the sockets on the motherboard before applying pressure. This may require a magnifying glass a jeweler's loop 5 2.3 mm Phillips number 00 screws with partial threads securing the logic board to the rear case 2 2.3 mm Phillips number 00 screws with full threads securing the logic board and camera screw that goes next to the camera bottom right orange highlighted screw also has a metal strip that holds the camera in place remember to put this strip back in place before you insert the 2.3 mm Phillips number 00 screws with full thread next to the camera a 2.9 mm Phillips number 00 screw from beneath the do not remove sticker. Use a spudger to gently pry the camera up and out of its housing in the rear case. Use a spudger to gently pry up the end of the logic board closest to the dock connector if the board won't lift up. Double check to make sure all the screws securing the logic board have been removed. Slide the logic board towards the dock connector and out of the iPhone. When replacing the logic board after installing battery, connect the camera to the logic board before inserting it into the case. Then, make sure to set the top section of the logic board where the SIM tray is in place before settling the rest of the board in place. This is important, as sometimes the SIM card slot will not align into place. Once the top section is in place, the bottom section can be maneuvered into place. You will know the logic board is correctly installed when the SIM tray is aligned with the opening in the iPhone case and the camera module seat neatly into its place. 3 1.8 mm Phillips number 00 screws securing the headphone jack and GPS antenna to the rear case. Note the order in which you remove the screws. 
as the left one has a slightly larger head. One 3.8 mm Phillips number 00 screw and the plastic loop near the headphone jack. The volume switch assembly sits on top of the mute switch. Make sure that the small soft pad on the mute switch is not lost. Otherwise the mute switch will sit very loosely after reassembly. Switch the green mute switch down towards the back side of the iPhone into mute position. This will make it much easier to insert it. Once the new mute button is in place, lift the black plastic GPS antenna housing out of the iPhone. Remove the two 1.9mm Phillips number 00 screws securing the vibrator to the rear case. Lift the vibrator up and out of the iPhone. Keep to these screws separate from the others as these have a smaller diameter than the others. Pay close attention as to the position of the dock connector assembly. When you reassemble the phone, make sure everything lines up. The assembly actually goes over the bezel screw holder. If you place it under the bezel screw holder the home button will not work.